Hello everyone. I want to welcome you to today's Open Heavens Reflections program. The Open Heavens Reflections are based on the Open Heavens devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. My name is Akiola Shoroe, and by the grace of God, I pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God Victory Centre based in Southeast London. Our topic for reflection today is finding alternatives. And our Bible passage is taken from the book of Genesis chapter 16, verses 1 to 4. Now Sarah, Abraham's wife, had borne him no children, and she had an Egyptian maidservant whose name was Hagar. So Sarah said to Abraham, See now, the Lord has restrained me from bearing children. Please go into my maid. Perhaps I shall obtain children by her. And Abraham heeded the voice of Sarah. Then Sarah, Abraham's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, and gave her to her husband, Abraham, to be his wife. After Abraham had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan. So he went in to Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress became despised in her eyes. A memory verse is from the book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Our reflections for today. Has God shown you a glimpse of your future and perhaps you're wondering how it can ever come to pass based on where you are now? Now that's exactly how Sarah, Abraham's wife, felt. God had promised that Abraham would have many descendants, but she couldn't understand how that would happen when he had no child and she couldn't give him any. She began to think of how she could produce an heir for her husband. Perhaps it did not occur to her that if God made the promise, then he probably knew how it would happen. After all, he is the Almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth. There is nothing that he cannot do. But Sarah decided to give God a helping hand and came up with the idea of allowing Abraham to have a baby with her maid. We can see that her motivation was love because she wanted the promise over Abraham's life to come to pass. If only she could have asked God what she should do. If she had, it is very likely that God would have told her to be patient, that he had a plan, and that all would be well at the appointed time. That is what I would like to tell you, my listener, today. Don't think that you have to make things to happen by yourself. It is better to find out what God's plan is and follow it than for you to try to come up with your own alternatives, which can end in trouble. At times, we try to use our own wisdom to come up with solutions to the problems we're facing. However, the wisdom of man cannot be relied upon. The Bible says that if anyone lacks wisdom, he should ask God and he will receive it. If you don't know what to do or where to turn to get to where you need, where you need to be, then you need to ask God and he will direct you. When he tells you, follow his plan and importantly, be patient. Our action point for today. As impatience made you to pursue your own alternatives, stop and beat a retreat today. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching with us today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye and God bless.